Hey guys, what is up, and welcome to What Remains of Edith Finch. Now, this is a pretty cool game where you go through the story of Edith Finch and her um, relatives, and how each of them, um, like, passed away. And each has a different story that you play as and play into. It's kind of cool. So, I'll do these similar to um, my Batman and Guardians of the Galaxy. I'll play about a half hour of it or so, just to give it a try and see what it is. Um, I did watch people play it, so let's see. Not sure what to click on here. Ah, here we go. Wait, what? What? Okay. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. I hope this is loud enough for you guys. In her will, my mother left me a key but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Which way do I go? The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. As if they're about to say something but never do. The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Okay, so she inherited the house when she was 17. Are we still 17 now, or...? Am I supposed to go through the doggy door? We have a key! Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Why did we have to- we had a key! For the first time in years... Okay, so R1's the, like, inner. I felt like I was home. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it, like a smile with too many teeth. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Edie, if I remember correctly, 
Eighty was her grandmother? Calvin. Oh, it gives like the My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother. Calvin. Okay, so this gives like the dates of when people lived. So Calvin was born in so Calvin died at age eleven. Gregory died at age one. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. So that room became a bathroom, it looks like. Okay, so that something happened to that. Molly. Molly died at age 10. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with. If she hadn't died in 1947. So everyone died pretty young. Okay, there's nothing here. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. Okay, so this is Great Uncle Walter. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Let's try the key. It worked! Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. We didn't explore the rest of the house. Let's explore the rest of the house really quick. If there's nothing, I'll cut. Down the stairs we go. Hey, let me go down. Can I open the front door now? Ooh, what is this? My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Milton Finch. I don't think we went here yet. Ooh. Barbara. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Okay. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. No, he found what the key fit. It'd be nice if the key fit multiple things. Oh, that was dust particles. I thought that was something. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. I'm sorry, what? The house sank. Okay. I think I remember something about that. The guy, like, floated his house from Europe to here. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Ah. Uh, why did I put her in a nursing home? Yeah, uh, old people tend to not like that. Alright, let's go back upstairs. Wee. Dust particle. It'd be nice if I didn't see those in the game. Okay. Alright, let's go through. Now this was Grandpa Walter, I believe. Someone Walter? Great Grandpa? Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Okay, isn't this, um, Molly's room, I believe? Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. I believe this was Molly's room. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. She had a gerbil. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. You don't say.
December 13th, 1947. This must have just before she died. I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Uh, those are not raisins, just to be clear. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. Man. My Halloween candy was all gone. Should have saved that. What is this? Starfish. Can you eat the starfish? I kept eating and what eating. What is that? Toothpaste? Did I eat toothpaste? Ooh, minty. I ate a lot of things that night. Please tell me those are real berries. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. You're not gonna eat the bird, are you? I reached out for her. Nice. Chain. And suddenly... I was a cat! Come here, bird! How do I... Go! Vamos! Ah. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Got you! Is that an asshole? Oh yeah, by the way, all birds are assholes. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. Yo! <laughs> Give me some food. Cat's hungry. I'll eat cat food now, it doesn't matter. No. Come here, bird. I'm gonna eat you. Yeah. Great, thanks. Fortnite's done updating. Where'd that bird go? Oh, I found you! Ha! Get back here! Yeah! I jumped and I almost got her. Yeah. I could tell she was getting really tired. Yeah. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All You're I a cat came back was eating that mama You're fine. bird. I gobbled her Got up. you. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Little teeth nibbling in the grass.
Got you now. He was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. Car. Now I was hungrier than ever. I'm trying to find something to eat. Like, where do I go to go down? What way is down? My tentacle. I wanted to stop, but also I did it. Okay, toilet. I got closer and closer. Wow. 
Why? All my stomachs. All my stomachs started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. That's nuts. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Okay, so just a quick look at this family tree we got here. There's Ingeborg, uh, who's just a leaf. Sven, who is a leaf. Sanjay is a leaf, and Kay is a leaf. I'm not sure what that means. Now we have Odin, who lived from 1880 to 1937. Edie was born in 1917. She lived to 2010. Walter was 1952 to 2005. So some of these people did live for a while. Sam, 1950 to 1983. Calvin, 1950 to 1961. Barbara, 1944 to 1960, and Molly was 1937 to 1947. Uh, let's see what else. Gregory, 1976 to 1977. Gus was 1969 to 1982. Dawn, 1968 to 2016. Okay, so Dawn was their mother. Lewis from, uh, let's see, 1988 to 2010. Milton from 1992 to 2003. And Edith, 1999 to, you know, present, basically. Because she's still alive. We're playing as her. Though, didn't someone else die in 2010? Yep. So, Lewis and Edie both died in 2010, it looks like. Okay, so that's interesting. We're going to see how this progresses. Excuse me? No way. Wow, that took a drastic turn on the weather. Okay guys, so looking at the weather and how long I've recorded, I think this is where I'm going to leave this episode of What Remains of Edith Finch. If you guys want to see more of this, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn notifications on. I'll see you guys next video. Later. Once I was seven years old, mama told me, go make yourself some friends or you'll be lonely. Once I was seven years old.